In the meantime, the Washington Post is hitting the president for pitting staff members against each other, but it was JFK who was among the more recent uh, presidents who did just that. Uh, the idea was to keep uh, staff members on their toes and not assume that their job was a birthright to former President Bush 43 special assistant Brad Blakeman, another president who subscribed to that idea, who says turnover is both healthy and expected and not thinking your job is a given is expected as well. Mm -hmm. Very good to have you, my friend. Thanks for coming. Pleasure. Um, much is made of this with the president, I, I, I guess, having a short leash on some advisors. Uh, but that would not be new. I mean, what do you think is going on here? Uh, look, I think it's a normal White House situation. You, you know, it's one of the largest startups, a, a new government of any business that's ever been created on Earth. And you have 4,000 people leaving, 4,000 people coming, and it's a dynamic with the staff. And, you know, when we would meet as a senior staff, there were 16 of us. You know, there were some times where this discussions got very tense, but when you leave the room, you leave united, and at least you got a fair hearing. Everybody respected each other, didn't take things personally. But service to the president, Neil, is an opportunity, not a career. You have a finite existence, and the average tenure of a senior staff person is only 18 months in any event. I, it, it, is, it, it is burning out, because I know that a lot of you guys, of course, maybe in your case, 60 to 80 hour weeks are, 60 to 80 hour weeks are certainly uh, very, very common. But but uh, you're also on call 24/7, uh, so that that comes with the job. I understand, but that this president has a, a volcanic temper, we're told, and will quickly lash out at, at advisors. Uh, we're told that John Kennedy contained that, but he would let his displeasure known. Sure. Richard Nixon obviously would let his displeasure known. It just depends on the president. Uh, and Lyndon Johnson would famously pit foreign policy advisors against one another, especially in the, in, in the, 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 the more uh, controversial days of the Vietnam War in his latter years. Um, so there's nothing really dramatically different here, but, but the, the fact that the president himself is looking at low poll numbers and wants that to change, doesn't that require him to change as well? Look, the, the, the president is the leader and, and uh, staff serves the president. It's not the other way around. It's not for the staff to come up with a plan for the president. The pl president comes up with the plans and the staff uh, implements those plans. And, and look, this is a fluid situation being president. There are things that you can absolutely have control over and things you absolutely cannot have control over. <clears throat> but one thing is for sure. In order to be effective as a president, you have to be a good manager, and you also have to surround yourself with people of differing opinions. And having a, a competition within the staff, especially your senior staff on opinions and, and solutions, is a healthy environment, provided that uh, uh, nobody takes it as hard feelings, and when a decision is made, everybody is marching in step to that decision. Are you worried, though, obviously the president wants to get to the bottom of who the heck is leaking here, and I'm sure he suspects those around him. How can you not? Because it happens so frequently and so often across the board, um, from economic issues to this whole Russia stuff to mm -hmm. what the president knew and, and when he knew it, uh, even when it involved one-on-one -on -one meetings, as it was the case with Comey, no one else was there. Um, now, obviously, the, the charge is that Comey released that uh, after he was fired. But that this keeps happening, even phone calls, I remember in the early days when he spoke with the Australian Prime Minister, and of course, that got leaked to the press as well. Some of the State Department did that. So uh, you would need a big old shakeup to stop that, right? Or lie detector tests for everyone to stop it. And you can't, right? You can. You absolutely can. And what you need to do, and the president has already done this, is task the attorney general, the FBI, and the internal security people at the White House, exactly what you said, Neil, polygraphing people and looking at the chain of command of who had information at what time and how it was disseminated. But there is no doubt we can find these leakers. They should be found. They should be brought to justice because so far the crimes that are, that are being alleged are dwarfed compared to the crimes that have been committed by these people who have, who have hurt our national interest. Well, that's very well put, and you're right about that, because it's far past the point of a joke now. All right, thank you, my friend. Very good seeing you. Pleasure.